When it comes to alcoholic drinks in South Korea, there is one undisputed king of them all. Its name? Soju. So why is it so popular? Not only is it cheap at about $1 to $2 USD, but it pairs very well with communal Korean foods like samgyeopsal and galbi. But you might want to be careful. A good time can easily turn into a night you want to forget when you wake up the next morning. Just how popular is soju? Despite the fact that it is mainly bought and sold on the Korean peninsula, it is the top selling spirit in the world with over 78 million cases sold in 2018. That is quite the number. The history of soju dates back to the Goryeo Kingdom in the 13th century when it was introduced during the Mongol invasions of Korea. They acquired the knowledge of brewing soju from the Persians and then set up distilleries around the city of Gezong. Back then, it was called Arakju. A traditional method for brewing soju involves putting steamed rice, nuruk, which is a Korean fermentation starter, and water into a big clay jar and having it ferment for as little as 15 days to as much as 100 days depending on the recipe. Now, to alleviate rice shortages in 1965, a ban was implemented on using rice in the traditional brewing process. Because of this, companies started using highly distilled ethanol from sweet potatoes and tapioca. This diluted concoction was also filled with flavorings, artificial sweeteners, and water. Although this ban was lifted in 1999, the major companies continue making soju this way. If you're looking for soju still made using the traditional process, you might want to check out a brand called Andong Soju. The alcoholic content of soju varies depending on the type of soju you are drinking. Now on the low end, you can find the percentage as low as 13%. For regular varieties, it will be around 18-20%. to 20%. And for the traditionally brewed versions, it will be as high as 45%. The competition in the soju industry is fierce with multiple companies vying for that piece of the pie. However, each region in South Korea has a preferred brand of soju. In the Seoul Gyeonggi region, Chamisu by Jinro is by far the favorite and it's also the number one brand in the whole country. In Gangwondo, the preferred brand is Chomchorong. As we head down south to Busan, you'll find that people prefer Daeson and Jeonde. Down in Jeju, you'll find the Halasan brand with its distinct clear bottle being the soju of choice. There are many more brands in each region, so whenever you're traveling around the peninsula, go check some of them out. Now, just as there are many brands of soju, there are also lots of different cocktails and combinations you can make as well. One of the most popular combos is Somek, which mixes soju with beer. Now, if you're looking for a sweeter combo, you might want to try mixing soju and Korean cider, which is the Korean version of Sprite. It's called Sosa for short. You can also combine soju with cola for a sweeter taste, and this one is called Sokol. Koreans have become very creative with their cocktails, so several other combinations have evolved over the years as well. Speaking of mixing, fruit flavored soju has become very popular over the last several years due to its lower alcoholic content and a sweeter taste. Popular flavors include grapefruit, apple, pomegranate, peach, blueberry, grape, pineapple, and even ginseng. If you can't stomach the stronger versions of soju, then you might want to give these a try. And there you have it. Now you know just a little bit more about the world's top selling spirit. Thanks for watching and see you next time.